Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Guilford, Connecticut to check out a couple of John Coates finned Virgil Exner Mopars. This guy's a serious Virgil Exner nut. Actually, so am I. So we got some fabulous fins for you today. Check these babies out. John, great to see you, hey, man. Hey, good to see you, Dennis. Now, hey, it was like uh, about a year ago in, in uh, at, at Hilton Head, at Hilton Head Concord, yes. I ran into you, and you had this this absolutely spectacular '61 Chrysler <laughs> New Yorker wagon. And and as is, I got talking to you, and as is often the case, I found this wasn't the only one you had. Right, <laughs> you had a few other, right. you had a few yeah. other nice <laughs> nice Chryslers, like like this gorgeous '56 New Yorker convertible. So I said. We got to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And next thing you know, here I am in Guilford, Connecticut. Let's start over here with this, this insane wagon. Okay. This is a, this is a '61 Chrysler New Yorker, right? Yes, it is. Now this is a monster, and they really, you just do not see these anymore. No, you don't. Uh, they become very rare to find, uh, and usually if you do find them, they're basket case, you know, rusted out, mm -hmm. beat up, utilitarian. But but I love the fact that she's a. Four door hardtop. Yes, this is what attracted me to this uh, car and uh, the Chrysler products, which were the four door hardtops. Uh -huh. And uh, oh, having no pillar here, it just is a great, you know, lines of the car. They made them for five years only, sixty through sixty four. And you know, this was uh, it's such a unique dash. I was, you know, I don't know. I always call it kind of a gumball machine, or uh, you know, it's I don't know. There's something space age about it too, but just like yes. you know, the plexiglass dome and everything, the gauges kind of fall back into it. Yes. Push button trans, yep. and then you know, uh, air conditioning backup. That's a really weird setup. Yes, uh, Chrysler uh, had dual air conditioning in most of their wagons, and it sat in the roof, uh -huh. uh, right behind the rear seat. It blew front and back as well as an independent front dash unit. And those are all, you can point those any way you want? Or yes, they, you can point them any way yeah. you want. They're snorkels. But, but I think the most beautiful feature of this car are these boomerang taillights. Yes. Those are wagon only and only in 1960 and 61. I mean, it's just, they're just beautiful. Yes. They, they are different from the conventional sedan yeah. and, and the hardtop. And the third seat? Third seat for the children. Uh, facing rear, which was commonly yeah, done yeah. back in that era. Interestingly, they thought of everything for the children back there, and uh, there's even an ashtray. There's even an ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was 61. Now, you gotta have something to haul this around, and that's what I really loved about this car is the engine. I, let's go look at that thing, because okay. it's just over the let's top. Let's do it. This is the little, a, the little power plant. Yeah, I mean, it's a great car to begin with. When I mean, you pop the hood on this baby and it's like, holy mackerel. I mean, you know, the cross ramp, it's a 413, I assume? Yes, it's 413 Gosh, cubic inch. Man. Uh, with the cross ramps, 375 horsepower. That is just crazy. And this is just, it's really an insane setup. Yes. You got dual quads, but they feed, what? They feed the opposite sides, right? Absolutely. This carburetor on, the, on this side feeds that side of the engine, and that one over there feeds this side of the engine. And. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it actually creates kind of It's like an artificial supercharging effect. And the, the theory is, and they went through about five stages of development. Yeah. These are 30 inches long. Yeah. And at 2,800 RPMs, they, there, there's a, the gas charge actually uh, moves at the speed of sound. Okay. And it travels back and forth six times in the RAM, and it arrives at the intake valve at the precise time at 2800 RPMs to give a push into the cylinder. So wow. kind of a, a, a poor So beyond looking really, really cool, it actually does something. Yes, absolutely. Because <laughs> it does look really, really cool. Absolutely. And man, I mean, everything about this, John, I mean, your, your date stamps. Yes. You know, your, your chalk marks on, uh, on the firewalls. Yes. She's just absolutely beautiful in every way. Thank Does you. she run as, as, as well as she looks? Absolutely. Oh. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just not surprised. A little bit gloomy today, but it's not raining right now. Could we take it out and get a little bit of road work with it? Absolutely. Could I actually drive this thing? You're welcome. Oh, man. Let's go. <laughs> Fire this baby up. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, she's 
comes alive right away. It's got that throaty sound. Yeah. Too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Holy cow, this thing kicks. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. You gotta be careful with that accelerator. When you have dual quads with cross ram induction. I guess you should expect it, huh? Yes. you're moving something down the road here. I mean, this this baby's big. Mm -hmm. Now, I would imagine drum brakes all around back yes, in the drum, day. Yes, drum brakes. This is a lot to haul down with drums. Well, you only need them once. You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you better only need them At once. At the end of the quarter mile. That's because that's all you get them for. But this was really, I mean, this was the top of the line. This was. This was a, a expensive wagon for a stay. And uh, very cool steering wheel, I think, you know, transparent. These yes. kind of like they yellow and they crack and everything. How did you how did you get this back? Uh, a fellow in California recasts them, really? chromes them, yeah. So you, it's the original core and any everything is original. Oh. And we had the plastic cast with the paint in it. It's not painted, it's cast with the paint. Nice. <laughs> First class. First class indeed. Well, hey, it's a New Yorker. They said they call this the Astrodome Dash? They call it the Astrodome Dash. And it was uh, electroluminescent lighting. Elec electroluminescent? Yes. Interesting too is the signal uh, lever is over on the left side of the dashboard and goes left and right, which didn't catch on. Uh, it's oh, rather over here. yes, that underneath, is weird. Underneath your push button. Because when you said that, I'm like yeah. <laughs> fumbling around. Where's the turn signal? Exactly. And it has a signal seeker radio. Oh yeah. Uh, yep. Power door locks. Vacuum actuated. Wow. Power antenna. Power windows. Power, power, power. Power swivel seats. A lot of power in the engine. Exactly. But it just floats along. Yeah. Man, what a car that wagon is. <laughs> you know, it needs you that four, it. I love it. It needs that 413 to get it around though. Yeah, that's great. Let's go back a few years in time. Yes. Another New Yorker. Yes. This is a 56 New Yorker convertible. And what yeah. a great looking car. And what a, an extreme bumper. Yes, these uh, bullet type uh, end caps uh, were the, the mechanic's nightmare because they always hit their knees just on whack. them. Yeah, they just whacked <laughs> them and did knee jobs. Man, so that those are their caps. It's one piece. No, it's I it's, guess it's, it's one piece, two piece, three, four. Four, four pieces. Four, four pieces. pieces for that bumper. Yes. And this has got a lot of wild curves to it. I mean, it's, yes. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure it's rough on knees, but it sure does look cool. I, again, I just you know absolutely. Pristine, fabulous Thank restoration. The, even the white inner fender wells, would that have been? Yes, um, I've studied these cars very much and extensively photographed them from uh, an original car which had 100, 100 miles on it and found out how they painted these cars. And uh, originally the uh, minor color, which would this, in this case would be the Desert Rose, was yeah. painted first. Okay. And then since it was a smaller area, they masked off the Desert Rose and then they shot the whole car in white. No kidding. Under the hood, in the fender wells, everything. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it, that's how they painted That's them. a lot of work. That is. Especially yes. in a production now situation. Now you know why they don't do two tone <laughs> cars today. <laughs> they don't do that anymore. There's a reason for that. Um, and now, now those actual wires or those are a cap? Uh, uh, no, cap? those are actual wire wheels and those are the oh. original motor wheel company. So Every, it's not a Kelsey Hayes? No, or the, everybody thinks they're Kelsey Hayes, but they're Motor Wheel. Motor Wheel Company wow. made them for Chrysler. Um, those are uh, reconditioned uh, wow. original wheels. Man, yes. and what an interior, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so, you know, interestingly, so totally different than the 61. The yeah. 61's got this really space age rocket ship feel. Yes. This is, this is mid 50s, yes. you know, coming at you. I love the dash. She curls around, dips back back up over the, the top. I mean, there's some there's some sexy curves in there. Yes. And this was the uh, advent of padded dashes, too. Uh -huh. Mid-50s, uh, where they came in with safety features and padded dash. 
And there's different features here. Uh, this has a highway hi-fi uh, record player, which was the first <laughs> in-car automobile record player, and it was available only from Chrysler. Wow. Yeah. Really cool. And, and now, is this all leather? Or is this is leather and vinyl. Oh. Uh, the seats are all leather. Some of the back, the back is vinyl. Uh -huh. uh, vinyl on the uh, door panels. Gosh, and and yeah. still? Of course, it's got the push button trans. And push button. This was the first year for the push button. Oh, really? Wow. Yes, and uh, it was a two speed power flight versus the wagon, which has a three speed torque, torque flight. flight. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, yeah. she's just, I mean, she's just gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. And, and you know, this is pretty understated for Exner fins. Yes. Um, really, I consider this the first year of true Exner fins. Uh, 55 had similar body lines, but this was the full integrated fin. Uh, where they called these twin tower tail lights, and uh, it really? actually was sheet metal as opposed to the 55 that had a uh, kind of I call a bolt-on uh -huh. uh, light with a little chrome piece that came up, and uh, wasn't really the sheet metal. So I consider this the first real fin car. Man, that is that is yeah. a that's a serious yes you know, tail light bumper continuum there. Exactly, twin towers. Twin towers. <laughs> She's stunning, and, I, and and this, you know, these are pretty wild too. The letters are, yes, you know, kind of artsy. You know, it's yes. not block; it's got a little swoop to it, and you know. absolutely. Yes. So, what powers this baby? Uh, Three fifty-four cubic inch Hemi. Ooh, I love that engine. Let's go look Let's at that. Let's go. Oh boy! And just like the wagon, absolutely perfect. Wow! I mean. Wow. <laughs> this, this was my first restoration, actually. And, really? Uh, yes. And that was uh, about a four and a half year restoration as well. I don't do anything too rapidly. Um, <laughs> well, with all, I mean, with the quality of this, though, I mean, four and a half years is, isn't that long. Well, this, that, this too was taken down. It was a rotisserie restoration. Uh, this does have a frame. We took it off the frame, uh -huh. down to the last nut and bolt, and uh, rebuilt it back up. Well, she's spectacular, and you're, you're, you're sporting some pretty important badges too. Yes, um, this has gone through Antique Automobile Club of America uh, judging system and it's one of only a half a dozen cars or so that, that does have the maximum number of uh, awards over the years. It's uh, received the Walter P. Chrysler Award as well as the uh, uh, annual Grand National Award, which is the equivalent of the best of show at the Grand Nationals for senior cars only. And, and this was your first restoration? This was, yes. This nice job. <laughs> well, I learned a lot from this restoration. I bet you did. I did. <laughs> Man, I mean, she's just stunning, John. Does Thank she you. run as well as the, the wagon runs? Absolutely, just as well. Well, let's take this baby out, too. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, I like that. <clears throat> Push button, Push D. Turn out some lights, and I'm probably going to need some wipers here, too, in a little while. This is, you know, we don't usually take these out in the rain, John. Uh, I don't right. think you usually take them out in the rain, either. <laughs> Not normally. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a real rarity that we drive cars in you know, even a light shower. So this is a treat. But I think cars look good wet. I love You know, sometimes they do. They, you know, it's like a real car, then. Just a very, very 50s looking dash. Yes. Boy, you got that big wheel out there. <laughs> you know you're driving a 50s car. The most rare option on this car is the steering wheel clock. That is wild. 15 jewels made in Switzerland by Benris. This one has a signal seeker radio too on it. And the highway hi-fi. Hi yes, you can lock it and lock your records inside. They're stored underneath. And you pull it out and it's ready to operate. And we'll turn this baby on to warm it up. And uh, it has a little hum to it, just like the old radios did. And turn it up. Still classy enough. Uh huh. To oh, it's very classy. Have the black top. Yeah, the black top actually sets this it car does. off. And I love the eyebrow 
headlights, eyebrows up the lights. That, yep. I think that's another very nice design detail. Yes, headlight hoods, yeah. Quite a hood ornament, too. Yeah, the eagle. Oh, this is a treat. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. <laughs>